Kirby, baby, yeet. What's up, guys? Welcome to Clean Therapy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you a lot of great videos about cleaning and about this amazing machine right here, the Kirby Vacuum, the best vacuum, best home care system in the world, hands down. I'm gonna be showing you why on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and come back for more because we're gonna have a lot of fun. But this machine, guys, it's all American made. It's been selling for over 100 years in the United States. How many companies can even say that? I mean, that's reason enough alone to love this machine but it goes so much further than that. So much further than that. This is a 2006 model. There, of course, is a 2020 model. That's even more amazing than this. And this has an even older bag on it. This is not the bag that comes with this particular unit, but it still works fantastic. And that's the amazing thing about these machines, guys. Even though this is 14 years old, it still performs like it did when it was brand new. And if anything happens to it, it's always easy to maintain it by hand. No tools required. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna be going over why it's so awesome in the next few videos, so make sure you subscribe. But I first wanna talk about common mistakes made by Kirby owners, okay? Because this is the best machine in the world if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, it's like anything else. We don't know how to use it, okay? So let's make sure we go over some basic things. First of all, right now, it's in the upright position. This machine turns into many, different machines. You can have attachments to make so many different things. I have attachments to turn this into about eight different machines. Right now, it's as an upright vacuum, it can turn into a canister vacuum, it can turn into a handheld vacuum. Okay, you add in the upright, that's three. It can turn into an air blower. It, you can use it as a leaf blower. You can use it as a multi-purpose sprayer. You can use it as a portable shampooer, a carpet shampooer. Okay, so that's eight different machines that I have the attachments for to turn this into. So we're gonna get to all of those in the upcoming videos, but right now it's in the upright vacuum. Okay, so I wanna make sure you understand this terminology as we move on so you can know what we're talking about. This is the upright vacuum with the upright handle. And if you wanna vacuum with this, you just pull the handle back. It's spring loaded, okay, it's spring loaded. So all you have to do is pull it back and it's ready to go. And it has a height adjustment over here. You got your height adjustment right on the side. So you want it raised all the way up when it's turned off. That way you can roll it from room to room. Also, you want it in neutral when it's turned off. So you can roll it from room to room. If, it's, if the head is down, it's dragging against the floor when it's turned off and that's creating resistance that's gonna make it hard to move. So you lift it up when it's turned off that makes it easy to roll from room to room. And again, in the back, this is a transmission. You have neutral and you have drive. You want it in neutral when it's turned off, drive when it's turned on. If it's in drive, like it is now, see that orange button? If it's in drive when it's turned off, it's not gonna move. So you're gonna think you got a busted Kirby. That happens to some people and they think their Kirby is ruined and they never use it. And it's a travesty. It's a disgrace because all you have to do is hit neutral and you roll it from room to room when it's turned off. This machine has some weight to it, so you don't wanna try to carry it like this from room to room. You wanna roll it from room to room. Now, when you do need to carry it, maybe upstairs or what have you, then you're gonna do exactly what is recommended when you're lifting anything with any significant weight. You're gonna bend at your knees, use two hands, and hold it close to your body. And that makes it very easy to carry. Very easy to handle. It is so lightweight when you use it like this. Okay, now if you're gonna use one hand, then all you're gonna do is reverse your grip, grab it like that, and again, it puts the weight in your legs instead of in your lower back, and that's how you wanna carry anything. With your legs, not with your lower back. Okay? So that's how you take care of that. If you need to carry it with one hand, you do that. If you need to carry it with two hands, like my mom may need to, boom, there you go. But 90% of the time, the Kirby is gonna be on the ground. All the weight is down here in what they call the power plant. This is what they call the power plant. So all the weight's down here, okay? So when you're ready to vacuum, 
Everything is foot operated. You don't have to bend down to operate the curve. You got your height adjustment here, you got your power button here, and your transmission here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn it on, you're gonna lower it down, and put it in drive. You can do that in any order that you want, but you wanna turn it on and then lower it down so you can hear it make contact to the carpet because here's what's gonna happen, guys. When you lower the Kirby, it's gonna make contact to the carpet. And the Kirby has a special feature that, um, <clears throat> that is the brush roll is bigger on one side and smaller on the other, slightly. So it creates a gentle vibration when it spins. And you need that vibration to vibrate the dirt from deep within the carpet. If you don't have that vibration, you're not gonna be able to get the dirt from deep within the carpet. And this is the only vacuum in the world that I've ever seen that has that. And I've been around the block when it comes to vacuums, believe me, <laughs> okay? So you don't have to go through what I went through. You can just take my word for it. Excuse me. That gentle vibration uh, is what vibrates the dirt out of the carpet. So you're gonna hear it make that sound when it makes contact with the carpet. So you wanna turn it on first and then lower it down one at a time so you can hear that sound. We're gonna listen for it right now, okay? And then also remember you're gonna put it in drive when it's turned on, and that way it's gonna be easy to roll because it has an automatic transmission and it's built into the handle. So just the slightest pressure from the handle is gonna make it move forward and backwards. You're gonna see that, okay? So let's go through the whole thing. We're gonna turn it on, lower it down, and put it in drive. See that? Now you see what I just did? First of all, let's just talk about how great that was and how therapeutic that was, okay? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's working for me, okay? So, remember, when you're done, you wanna put it back in neutral. Okay, if you turn it back on. Right. Now if I just turn it off, okay, you see, not moving. Gotta put it in neutral. I want to raise that head back up. But again, it's all foot control, so you don't have to bend over to do any of this, okay? But I just want to make sure that you understand, neutral when it's off, drive when it's on, okay? Neutral when it's off, drive when it's on, all right? And then you have your height adjustment here. And again, when you're lowering this down, you want to go down until you hear that hum. Once you hear that hum, you know it made contact. And then maybe you want to go down one more after that, but here's the thing about the height adjustment. That's another thing that's amazing about the Kirby. It has a very wide range of motion when it comes to height adjustment. As you can see, this is a very high pile carpet. So the height adjustment needed for this carpet is completely different than the height adjustment needed for my other carpets that you guys are gonna be seeing, okay? And so what that means is when you are vacuuming something, you don't want to suffocate the carpet. If this is the floor underneath the carpet and the carpet is in between my hands, you don't want to suffocate the carpet. You want the, the vacuum or the Kirby to come down just low enough to where it lifts the carpet and creates an air pocket underneath the floor, in between the floor and the bottom of the carpet. That way it can draw air through the entire thing. So this is like vacuuming 202 here, guys, okay? This is advanced vacuuming techniques. And this is what you get from this machine automatically. So you don't have to worry about this stuff when you have the right equipment. There's no substitute for the right tool for the job, guys. It doesn't matter what the job is. It could be vacuuming, it could be building a house, whatever it is. When, you have, when you're doing anything, you gotta have the right tool for the job. Brushing your teeth, doesn't matter. You gotta have the right tool for the job. So, this is another reason why it's the right tool. It has the gentle vibration that we talked about from the brush roller. It has the correct height adjustment because, again, you don't want to suffocate the carpet. You want to lift the carpet and create an ear pocket underneath 
and draw air through the entire thing. That way you're cleaning the top, middle, and bottom of the carpet. And so that's what you're getting right here with your Kirby guys. I'm telling you, this is the best machine in the world. All American made, 106 years. We got it right this time, guys. We got it right. <laughs> okay, finally, we did something right, okay? America has its issues, but you know what? There are some things that we get very right, and this is one of them right here. This is one of them. This is one thing that we can celebrate right here. Absolutely, you can be proud of this right here. 1906, 1914 for the way that it looks now, but it actually started in 1906 with a whole different version, but we're not even gonna get into all that, okay? So, that pretty much covers the Kirby upright back. Okay, I hope I, I did it justice for anybody who has one who may be having some trouble. And by the way, um, there's a green light right here on the side. When you turn the vacuum on, that green light tells you that the brush is spinning underneath. Okay, so. Green light. That tells you that the brush is spinning underneath. If you don't get that green light, that means the brush is not spinning. And we're gonna talk about that in the next video, how to change the uh, head and everything, but I don't wanna make this too long. So we're talking about how to uh, change the, the uh, belt and how to clean the brush and all that in the next video. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I have so much fun doing this. We gotta end with a nice, good vacuum. Peace out, guys.